news tonight, the Western allies welcome an old enemy to join the family. The president tells the Pope sexual abuse by priests is damaging the church's reputation. Secret recordings made in Italy before the September attacks. The terrorists talk about hitting the U.S. with planes. The annual testing for how safe are cars. Stronger and safer because of consumer pressure. We'll take a closer look. And in the image of Spider-Man, the real version. Urban exploration and the young people who love it. From ABC News World Headquarters in New York, this is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Good evening, everyone. President Bush is on his way home from his whirlwind tour of Europe. The final day was marked by a couple of fairly remarkable moments. Mr. Bush and the other members of the Western Alliance welcoming Russia as a partner. During the Cold War, who would have thought it? And then the president went to see the Pope after saying very publicly that he would raise the sexual scandals in the Catholic Church here. That caught the Vatican somewhat off guard. Our traveling White House correspondent is Terry Moran. The president was ushered into the Pope's office in the Vatican. John Paul II, stricken and stooped by advancing Parkinson's disease, shielded his eyes in jest from the intense volley of camera flashes. They met for 20 minutes, discussing the Middle East, Russia, and indirectly the sex abuse scandal in the Catholic Church in America. Earlier, and to the consternation of Vatican officials, the president signaled reporters he would raise that issue indirectly with the Pope. Uh, I will tell him that I am concerned about the uh, Catholic Church in America. I'm concerned about its standing. History was made earlier in the day at an airbase outside of Rome, a site chosen to provide maximum security from potential terrorist attacks, as the leaders of the NATO alliance welcomed their former enemy to their table. Two former foes are now joined as partners, overcoming 50 years of division and a decade of uncertainty. The signing ceremony brought Moscow into the military alliance that so resolutely opposed it for 50 years. But for all the martial pomp of this ceremony, Russia will not be a full NATO member, only a sort of junior partner voting on a strictly limited number of issues, especially counterterrorism, but not including tricky issues such as increasing NATO membership. Russia cannot have a veto over who becomes uh, a member of NATO or not. Still, the new Russian relationship with NATO gives Mr. Bush what he came to Europe for, more help with his main priority, the war on terrorism. Terry Moran, ABC News, with the President in Rome.